We have the Brooks Beast, soon to be Brooks Beast GTS because all of their shoes are going to GTS if they have guide rails. So the biggest change for this shoe is coming from the previous model. It is completely different. It's still gonna be a very high stability, high cushion shoe with a wide toe box. It is going to fit half size short. So whatever you wore in that previous Brooks Beast or Ariel, go ahead and bump it up a half size. The biggest change is going to come from that arch side guide rail or dual density posting. So now we have a guide rail that's about this thick running through here, where before it was the actual full thickness of the platform. It isn't quite as corrective, but it does control uh, gates now that supinate and pronate more so compared to the previous model. So I have used this as a motion control shoe depending on the customer's needs. It accommodates an insert really well, but also the sock liner in this shoe is very soft so it absorbs a lot of pressure points. We're at a 10 millimeter heel to toe drop. The shoe's a little bit heavier. We've got two main flex grooves on the bottom of the shoe and a partial, which allows the forefoot to be a little bit more flexible but beyond this point and back, it's not really gonna flex much and that is the control that the shoe's providing. That is something that works really well with an insert. I highly recommend this shoe. It's a little bit better for running and walking now, uh, but they did reduce that piece of dense material there, so it did lose a little bit of support. Overall, I think it's a change for the better and I highly recommend it. Remember to bump it up that size. Check out the link below, order that from my store, uh, leave a thumbs up and a comment. Thanks a bunch.